Hey, it's Lobby Nation. Welcome back to another DIY Wednesday. And how was your guys' Christmas and holiday? I hope it was fantastical because I got to start out my New Year's hanging out with my mom and puppy brother and my dad. And it was such a great and fun little family trip that we did. We went to San Antonio. Puppy brother was in his little tuxedo and there was just so many people who stopped him to take a photo with him. It was the cutest thing ever. But today we are going to be going back to my whole furniture DIYs because that's what I was doing before the holidays kicked in. And and I am still doing that because I love my living room, I love my living space, and I love DIYing for my living space. I actually made this video before uh, December, but I never got a chance to edit it, so now I'm gonna share it with you guys. Otherwise, it's gonna die in my hard drive and you'll never see it. And I just have so many DIYs that I don't get to editing because I'm always working on new projects all the time. My mom and I went to Ikea a while ago and I saw these lac tables. They're just little end tables for $7. They're super duper cheap. I decided to get some foam and turn it into little Ottomans. I was thinking about putting a chair there, but it just doesn't have enough walk through. So this is the perfect Marriott of both. It only cost me $10 each to make each one of these. You do need a couple of power tools, but you know, it's 2017. Every single chick needs to have a power drill and a screwdriver and stuff in their household. It's just, yeah. Before we get started, I do want to say that at the very end, I kind of gave you like a small little tour if you guys want to check that out. So, um, yeah. Okay, so when you open up your lac table, this is what it's gonna look like. You're going to get the top part of the table and then four legs. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I made a grid on the back of the tabletop and this is how I decide where all my buttons are gonna go. Next, with my awesome pink power drill, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to create holes into the back of the table. Yes, I know some of you home improvement people are probably cringing right now because you guys are probably thinking that I am puncturing a hole through my wood floors, but I'm not because the drill is not long enough. In fact, I actually have to hold it up to push it all the way through to really get the hole on the other side of the table. As you guys can see, I have five holes drilled in for five little buttonholes. Okay, now you're gonna need a piece of foam that's about three inches thick. Luckily for me, this piece of foam is cut to be perfectly the same size as my tabletop, so I didn't have to do the extra work there. Okay, next you're gonna need some batting and you can get this over in the quilt section. You can actually skip this step, but I think it looks a little bit nicer when you reupholster with batting. So now you're gonna place the foam and the tabletop on top of the batting and cut out a square that is slightly larger than both. Now all you have to do is fold the batting inwards and use a staple gun to secure it. Okay, now you're gonna cut out a piece of fabric that is slightly larger than the tabletop and same dealio, you're going to fold in the edges and staple it down. When I get to the corners though, I kinda like to do a little fold like I'm folding a present and then I would staple it down so it looks like there's a nice fold on the sides of the table. And once you're done stapling the fabric to the tabletop, go ahead and cut off all of the excess fabric. Okay, now you just screw the legs onto the tabletop. Now in retrospect, I should have left that little part a little bit open. This way you can find the hole and screw in the legs, but it's okay. Just do some snipping and some digging and you can definitely find the original hole. And next, it's time to crank out the button kit and this is what they look like. So in the kit, you have this little plastic silicone piece here. You are going to place your fabric right on top of it. Then you place the metal button part on top of the fabric and you push as hard as you can. Prim the excess fabric and then fold it inwards into the metal piece like that. Okay, now you're gonna take the backing and you're just gonna place it right on the button and you're just gonna push it right into the button cap. Okay, to attach the buttons, I am going to slip an upholstery needle through the drilled holes that I made earlier on the backing of the table. Once I pull the twine through, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip it in half. And then I'm gonna take one of my covered buttons and I'm going to just tie the twine onto the cover button. And then from the back, go ahead and just pull on the string to make a little divot on your cushion. So on the back, what I do is I pull really tightly and then I create a knot and I create a couple more knots and then I just staple it in place. Cut off the excess string, flip your thing around and you have yourself a homemade ottoman looking thing.
Okay, let's quickly have a rundown of all of this. I bought this little thing right here from Marshalls. It was $6.99. This is from Amazon. It lights up and it's a cool mister and it, you can put oils in here so that it makes the room smell nice and very relaxing. This little tiny bird is my little plant waterer so when this guy is empty I know to water my plants and to refill him up and this plant is from Ikea. Um, Let's see, this picture frame, I still have the tag on it, it's $12. It's kind of expensive I know um, but the picture is given to me by a friend who went to New York and you know she always try to get me like really cute little um, souvenir stuff and she's always does a good job picking up things for me so thank you Angela um, play-doh these are from Michaels I think they were 50 cents each they're on sale and these are just pictures of puppy brother this little spiky thingy is from Target I think I got it for like 10 bucks kind of expensive I could have totally made my own but I chose not to um, the lampshade is also from Target this was $7.99 I think and it was on sale but the lamp base is from the Salvation Army and it was six dollars and uh, I liked it so much it was such a good buy you know so I put this lampshade on this and then down here is my Canon printer this is the MG7720 I got it for $70 and it was at Best Buy during um, the Black Friday sales and this is the gold one I have the white one at my office and I honestly really really love this printer oh I forgot to show you guys this so this picture here is a picture of a palm I already have a palm at my office which is really hard to take care of so I didn't want another majesty palm in my living room so I decided to get a picture of a majesty palm and uh, it came with the frame and everything and I got it for like three or four bucks at a yard sale I don't know so then I got this little doggy right here from the Salvation Army for six dollars I was fighting another person for it because he also really wanted it and then um, these random pillow casings are from Amazon they were like two bucks each um, and then this right here is my Amazon Echo Dot three of them in the house and one at the office and basically she's kind of like my little butler lady okay so Alexa is we're gonna on the TP link like switches which is connected to all the lights that are in my living room and I can do a video on my smart things in a different video but um, yeah I just tell her to do stuff so Alexa living room lights on okay cool so this is just the the tour of this little area here a quick walkthrough um i want to hang some terrariums or some plants i'm not sure yet slowly but surely this place is coming together and i am very happy about it so what do you guys think of the tutorial? Isn't it super duper easy? The moment I learned that you can buy your own cover button kits, my life changed forever. And actually you can use the same exact technique to create headboards for your bed as well. You just need a bigger board and a bigger piece of foam and then just, you know, do the math on that. The technique and everything, the steps is very, very similar. But yeah, as far as decorating my whole living room for under $2,000 so I could buy a bomb diggity TV, I nailed that. I will do a full, full on tour of my living room um, very soon. I still have one more piece that I gotta stick in the living room before I will do a tour and it will be another piece of furniture that is quite hard to tackle. Um, and I will have some free time to, to, to manage sanding that bad boy down. So if you guys are gonna try this out, be sure to use the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N and send it to any one of my socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, because I would love to take a look at how you guys took my videos and completely running with the idea. Also, if you guys like this video, be sure to like it down below, share it with everyone that you know, and of course, hit subscribe because every subscriber equates to one fairy dust. I eat the fairy dust and that's what motivates me to create more videos for you guys. Yeah, you guys know how to end this video. Remember to always rock on, slow beats. Bye, I will see you this Saturday. Okay, so now I'm going to use a comb to split my hair and yes, I also have my Captain America t-shirt on and as you can tell, it's very blotchy because I use it to bleach my hair. It's my go-to hair bleaching t-shirt. But anyways, I am parting my hair front to back.